Hello everybody! Um, so, when someone can hear me, can you tell me if the volume is good? If you can see me clearly, if it's not lagging? Two person. Yes. So can you tell me if uh, the volume is good, please? I'm just gonna wait uh, a bit to let time to people to uh, enter in the live. Perfect. Thank you, Ashley. Good. So thank you to join this workout today. Perfect. Okay. So, um, if you want to share uh, you doing the workout um, by a picture or a video, um, please uh, tag us using hashtag PSP Halifax, hashtag stay home. Um, also, for today, as you can see behind, I have one mat and two pillow or cushion would uh, be enough, I think. Depending on your mobility, you may need one, two or three. So maybe just bring a few and you will decide what is best for you. Also, if you can set up your mat on a slippery floor or a hard floor and not a carpet, that would be ideal. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna let maybe a two other minute to allow everybody to join. Perfect, and I'm gonna get ready. Almost 30 percent. Good, good, good. Perfect. So, um, my name is Jessie. I've been a part of the PSP team since a bit more than a year. And today I'm going to give a core workout. Okay. Uh, it's new for me to live. Uh, so my concern is about um, hurting nobody. So Please, if you feel that an exercise um, uh, is not good for you, you feel pain, don't do it. I'm going to try to give you some options sometimes, but I cannot see you, so you are the best to decide what is good for you. Um, the theme of my workout is creativity. Uh, so what I mean about that is I've been through a creative process to uh, adapt exercise using pillows or cushion. And I invite you uh, to express your own creativity um, any sort of way for the day. So that's um, something I invite you to do. Okay. Um, so, just gonna check if I have enough person. Okay. So we're going to start with the warm-up. So we're going to start on our mat and we're going to grab one pillow. Okay. So for the warm-up, I want to start activating the inner muscle in the core. So we're going to start lay on our back. Both feet are close to each other. My head is down and I'm going to place my finger inside of my hip bone here. 
So I'm going to inhale first. Exhale, press my lower back into the floor, belly in, um, organ up, and I'm going to squeeze at the same time the pillow. Keep that for three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. We're going to do this one a second time. So again, inhale. Exhale, press the lower back, belly up, squeeze the cushion. Hold that for three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. For the next one, I'm going to ask you to do the same process. And I'm going to ask you to lift your hip high, keep squeezing the cushion the more you can. So we're going to do this one two times. Inhale, exhale, press your lower back, squeeze, press down with your heel and keep that up for three, two, one, and down. Perfect. One last time. Inhale. Exhale, press your lower back, squeeze and up for three, two, one, and down. Perfect. Next one, same movement that we just did, but on top, I want you to extend one leg at a time and come back down. Keep squeezing with the knee. And pay attention to keep your hip at the same level, so I don't want to see any twist. Okay? So for two times, inhale. Exhale, press your lower back into the floor, squeeze up. Extend right leg, come back down. Left leg, come back down. And relax. One more time for this one. Inhale. Exhale. Press your lower back. Squeeze the leg up with the hips. Extend the right leg. Come back. And left leg. And come back and relax. Perfect. Already first one done. Just want to check if everything is okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. So second warm-up exercise. So I'm going to set for a side plank on my knees. So here, I'm going to place my cushion in oblique. So not above my head, not in front of me, but in the middle. And about maybe a bit less than one feet from uh, my elbow. So here I'm going to start my hand on my thigh. And what I want you to do is at the same time that you lift your hands, I want your hip to go as high as you can. And I want you to press down in the middle of your pillow. And come back down. Okay, so we're going to do three other time of three other repetition of this one make sure you're pushing your hips forward as you do it exhale lift your hip press the cushion hip the higher you can you should feel the burn here and come back second time exhale hop with the hip press in the middle of your cushion and come back one last time, exhale, and press, and come back down, perfect. Next one, I want you to place your cushion just above your head, so this time you're going to have to do a full flexion to reach it, so I don't want to see any twist to reach it, but I really want to have your arm over your head, so if your cushion is too 
uh, low and you cannot reach it, you can also put two pillows on top of each other to be able to touch it. So same thing for three repetitions. Hands on your thigh, exhale up with the hip and press in the middle. Come back down. Second time. Up. And down. Press down with this elbow. Last repetition. And up. And back down. Perfect. We're going to do the other side. So starting with the cushion in oblique. Setting up for the other side. Perfect. Hands on your thigh. Lift the hip and reach the middle of your cushion. One repetition. Four, three. Exhale. Two. Come back. And last one. Three. Perfect. Set up the cushion over your head. Maybe use two pillows. See what works for you. For three repetition. Slow in control and think of the technique. And up. Press back down. Second. Up. And back down. Last one. Up. And down. Perfect. Good job, everybody. I cannot see you, but I'm sure you did this one good. <laughs> um, last exercise for the warm-up. So I'm going to use only one pillow and I'm going to go into a tabletop position. I'm going to place the pillow um, on top of my lower back. So for this one, the goal is to keep the pillow stuck um, on top of your back. You don't want to feel the pillow slide at all. Okay. So I'm going to start pressing down so I'm not in this position, I'm pressing down. Try to have a straight spine the more you can. And I'm going to slide one arm forward. Let's start with the right one. And push forward. Keep that. Belly in. Press in both knee and the left hand. Come back. Perfect. Same thing with the left one. Slide to keep your alignment and push forward. Belly in, press in both knees and in your right hand. Come back down. With the left leg, slowly slide the left leg to extend. Engage your glute. Don't go too high with your leg to keep a straight spine and slowly come back. And right leg, extend slowly, press in your hands, press in your left knee, and come back. Perfect. Next one, I want you to prepare for another exercise. So we're going to tuck both, uh, toes, uh, both feet into the floor. And I want you to hover the floor with your knee. So I'm pressing down with my hands. Brace your core here. Keep that for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Perfect. Next one is a bit harder. I want you to stay only three seconds in the pose. So it's gonna go quick. Um, so we're gonna go into this position. And slowly, I want you to lift one foot, keeping the alignment. So I don't want to see your hip rotating. You don't, you're not supposed to feel the cushion slide into your back. So lift your knee and raise your right foot. Engage 
engage your quad in your left leg. Two, one, down. Other side, lift your left. Three, two, one, and down. Knees down. Perfect. Good, so we're gonna start with the workout. Um, so it's gonna be a 30 second per exercise and we're gonna perform each exercise only once. I'm gonna change um, a little thing in each one, okay? So be aware um, of uh, what I'm gonna change each time, okay? So first exercise, you're gonna need two pillows and we're gonna stack the pillow on top of each other. I'm gonna sit on the pillow and I'm gonna keep my both feet anchored into the floor. So here, I wanna slightly hinge back my shoulder, tuck my chin so I want a straight spine, okay? And I'm gonna keep my pump up. So stay into this position for 30 seconds. I just start my chrono. Talk a bit more your shins. Make sure you still have weight in your feet for this one. Try to elongate your spine a bit more. A few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Perfect. So for this one, the cushion is creating um, instability. You may not feel it yet for this one, but you will in the next. Okay. So next one, what I want you to do is to go again into this position, and we're gonna lift one foot at a time. Okay. So same position, just lift one foot after the other. So be ready in three, two, one, go. You don't have to straight the leg, just lift a bit the foot. Tuck your chin. Ten more seconds. And done. Good job. Perfect. So for the next one, I'm going to ask you to um, go a little bit more back to be able to release both feet. So that's the one that you should feel that the cushion um, makes you a bit more um, out of balance. If it's too intense and you're scared to fall back, you can also just put one cushion or to have uh, your bum on the floor too, okay? Choose what is best for you. So lean back a bit. So again, it's with a straight spine. Time has started. Keep the position, keep your balance. Up, done. Don't forget to breathe. Look a bit up. Three, two, one, and done. Good job. Perfect. Next one. So if you have only two pillows, you can take one under, only keep one under. If you have a third one, you can have it. Um, so we're gonna need one on top of the leg. So same thing that we just did, but I tried to do with my shin a plateau, so my cushion is really horizontal, parallel with the floor, okay? And again, I don't want you to round your back, but I really want you to roll back your shoulder and keep the balance into this position. 
again, you can be directly on the floor. The more cushion you have, it's just going to be a bit more unstable. Okay? So be ready. In three, two, one, go. Perfect. Roll back your shoulder, chin tuck. Ret nice retraction with your head. Half done. You got this. Five more seconds. And done. Good job. Perfect. For next one, um, can be possible to keep also uh, cushion under your bum, but I will demo directly on the floor. It's a bit more uh, shaky for the balance. So you can try it with a cushion under and you may fall back because it's a bit harder, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna start into this position and slowly I extend my leg to be in a hollow position. So my upper back is round in the lower part and as you can see, when I come up, my spine is straight. Round and straight, okay? For 30 seconds again, be ready in three, two, one, go. Straight spine, top part, and slowly extend your leg, hollow body. Come back up, try to keep your shin parallel again with the floor. Come back down. Up, down. One last rep, down and up. Good job. I'm starting to be a bit sweaty. So for the next one, we're gonna continue with the stretch. So you did a good work. It was not easy even for me. And uh, now we're gonna stretch a bit the lat. So um, I suggest you to have your pillow directly on the hard floor so it's going to be able to slide and your knees are going to be uh, on your mat and they're going to be a bit more wide than your hip okay so here i'm going to go into a child pose but with only my right hand so right hand in the middle of um, my cushion and my left hand is just under um, my shoulder okay so here i'm gonna slide to the left and here when i slide to the left i want to create a nice curve to the left into my spine and i want to push my rib the right way okay so lower your shoulder here and come back to center so you're going to move side to side and really pay attention to go the farther you can to the side. And when you're to the side, try to lower your, sh your chest to feel the stretch. So for 30 seconds, starting with your right hand, bend to the left now. Come back to center. to lower also your belly 
lower your hip close to uh, your heel. Almost done, five more seconds. And good, same thing the other side. Left hand in the middle of your cushion and we're gonna bend to the right. In three, two, one, go. Bend to the right, come back. can also help with your hand under your shoulder to bend a bit more to the side. And done. Second one, bend and reach for after. And go. Bend and reach for.
up, lift one foot, the other, come back. Try to push in your knees to keep straight leg. Less than 10. Perfect. Good. For the next one, we're going to be directly sitting on the floor. So if you have a pillow under you, um, just put it away. So for the next one, pay attention because we are only doing each exercise once. So wait before doing it. So I'm going to start in this position. So for some people, you may be a bit more here if you don't have the mobility, but we're not going to spend a lot of time here. So I want to keep my heels in contact with the floor and at the same time that I lower my hands, I want to round the more I can my back. So I want to go into this position the more slowly I can and I want to hold after this hollow body shape holding my pillow. So for the 30 seconds, you can take, if you can lower down in 10 or 15, you have 15 seconds to hold at the bottom, okay? So be ready into the sitting position and lower as low as you can. Round your back, lower the hands, engage the hands, Lower, lower, keep your heel in contact with the floor. Squeeze the leg, hold here. 10 more seconds. Press your lower back into the floor. Again, squeeze the leg. And done. Good job. Perfect. Next one. So we're going to go into a tabletop position. So straight spine here. I'm going to place my left hand just behind my head. Okay. And here I want to touch my left elbow with my forearms. And I want to open the more I can. I'm going to look at the ceiling, open this elbow the more I can. I'm using this shoulder, I'm pushing into this hand to help me to rotate the more I can into the pose, okay? So for 30 seconds, you're gonna move into the pose like this, um, and I will tell you what's next after, okay? So get ready in three, two, one, go. Hands behind your head, touch, and open. few more seconds, keep going. And done, perfect. We're going to do the other side, same thing. So left hand on the floor, right hand behind your head. In three, two, one, go. Touch and open. too disturbing. <laughs> and done. Good job. Perfect. So next one again, starting with my, um, nope, we did the first one, the right hand on the floor. So here this time, I'm going to slide my left hand between my knee and my hand. So I'm sliding, as I slide, I'm bending this arm 
and I want to reach as far as I can and come back up. So for this one, I'm moving into the pose. So as you can see, this arm is bending when I reach far, my palm is up. Okay, so be ready in three, two, one, and go. So reach far and up. Continue to move. Five seconds. Perfect. Same thing. Left hand on the floor and slide the right hand. And go. Try to look up at the same time that you're reaching for. Almost done. Two, one, and done. Perfect. One last in this position. So we just did left hand on the floor. So Come back with your right hand on the floor and you're going to place to your right a cushion. So here, um, the closer I put my cushion, the more it's going to lift my arm. Uh, if it's tiny like this, it may not change a lot, but just know that you can also have something higher and it's going to stretch a bit more, okay? So here I'm just going to slide it the more I can. And as I said, if I bring it closer to me, the stretch is a bit more intense. And we're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds, okay? So find what fits for you, the height, um, if you want it closer or farther to your arm. And we're going to start that in 3, 2, 1. Go. Look up. Keep this hand at the same height in your shoulder so you don't want to be here, neither here, in the middle. Ten more seconds. Perfect, other side. So left hand on the floor, the cushion to your left. In three, two, one, go. Look up, reach far, feel the stretch. Uh, in between your spine and your shoulder blade. Five seconds. And done. Good job. So we're going to come back with strengthening. Um, so set up with one or two pillow. And we're going to go into a plank on our knee, okay? So the difference with the plank on the floor that I want to see is that I want to see only your elbow touching the cushion. So I don't want to see this hand reaching the floor. I want to keep my hand close to my shoulder. So it makes it a bit harder to balance only on your elbow and make sure that you have enough cushioning so it's comfortable for your elbow, okay? So here on your knee, I'm pushing my hip forward and I want a straight line the more I can with my spine, okay? So everybody's ready in three, two, one, go. 
I'm pushing down with this elbow not to rest into my shoulder joint and bring this arm up. 20 more seconds. Engage your glute, brace your core. Ten more seconds. Try to reach far with this hand. And done. Same thing the other side. Elbow into the cushion or the pillow. And three, two, one, go. Squeeze the leg together, straight spine, pay attention of how your neck is, try to have this straight alignment with your spine. Ten more seconds, almost done. Make sure your shoulders are stacked on top of each other. And done. Perfect. That's a, a cue that I forgot to say, but if your shoulder on top is too forward, you're going to always fall forward. Or if it's too back, you're going to fall back. So make sure you have your both shoulders stacked on each other and also your hips. So you don't want to be opening the hips back, neither forward. Okay. So for the next one, um, we're just going to come back with the first side. So on your left arm, uh, same position. But we're going to move the arm this time, the arm in the air. So I'm going to reach far here, in a body again in a straight line. And here, I want you to engage this lat, pulling, okay? So we're moving, pulling, and come back up with the arm for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, go. Keep pushing down with your right elbow. Reach far when you lift your arm and engage the lat when you pull. Push your hip forward, engage the glute. A lot of pain to think. Perfect. Come back to the first side. Perfect. I just noticed the time fly a bit, so we have we're gonna do another exercise after this one. Only. So next plank that I want you to do. Again, come back into the first position. I'm gonna lift my top leg. My arm is gonna stay stuck on top of my shoulder, and here I want to do an internal rotation without moving this hip forward and external rotation without uh, having my hip to go back, okay? For 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. So make sure you fix those hips. Try to move the more you can in internal rotation and in external rotation. 10 seconds. Done. One last, the other side, same thing. In 
in three, two, one, go. Lift the hip, stack your hand on top of your shoulder, internally rotate, externally rotate. Belly in, brace your core. Push down with your right elbow. Almost done, and up. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, so I'm choosing the last one because I'm not gonna have time to do everything. So you're gonna pick two um, questions and you're gonna place them in front of you. Uh, I think I'm going to demo those in the two directions because they're a bit tricky. So we're going to do first a front plank having one elbow on each cushion. So set up on a slippery floor so you're going to have work to squeeze in the cushion. So it's going to tell you if it's moving apart you're not doing a good job squeezing in. So I really want you to keep your elbow stuck on top of your shoulder, okay? Um, we're gonna be on our knee. So just to show the position, I'm gonna show it my cushion on my mat, but I want you to be on the slippery floor, okay? So just you can see my plank. So here, I wanna have a straight line the more I can, maybe just the upper back round, okay? For 30 seconds, keep that, go, press down with your elbow, round upper back, squeeze in, hold that, up down, press a bit more down with your elbow, squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, five, four, three, two, one, and done. So now that everybody um, understood this exercise, I'm gonna spice it up a bit. So you're gonna start in the same position. Again, on a slippery floor, don't do as I do, but as I said. <laughs> um, so here, I'm gonna reach my palm on the floor, and I'm gonna press to, and I'm using my tricep here to go into a plank and my hands are going to be a bit um, above my head. And here slowly I come back down in control. Here squeeze again, not to lose your uh, cushion uh, to the side. And we're going to move slowly into this position for 30 seconds. Okay? Three, two, one, go. Squeeze in, push up, round upper back, control the lower down. Press now with your elbow, press in your hand. Elbow back, up down, keep going. Press up, come back down. And down. Perfect. Perfect. And the last one because I'm running out of time. So both elbow on the floor, uh, on the cushion, sorry. And here we're going to reach a plank on our toes. And here I want you to hover the floor the more, so my knees are super close from the floor, one centimeter above the floor. And I wanna keep the squeeze in, so I don't wanna let go again my pillow to the side. If it's too intense for your quad or your core, you can drop the knee down. So if I'm dropping the knee down, I'm just gonna walk my knees back again to have my straight line with my body and don't have my butt up. Okay, so for 30 seconds, last one, 
Give me what you have left. In three, two, one, go. Go into a plank. Bring your knee closer. Feel the burn here. 20 seconds left. Squeeze a bit more in with your elbow. Halfway there. Press down with your elbow. 10. question I'm going to stay for the next 15 seconds to answer to your question um, so yes so enjoy the rest of your day everybody and um, see you for a next class bye bye